Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's, you know who it is, but if you didn't know, it's your favorite South Florida real estate agent, Jason Matuk, and today we are in Miami. To be more specific, we're on Bayshore Drive. Right behind me, we have Kennedy Park, and the reason why we're here is because just across the street, I'm gonna be showing you that brand new, built in 2022, five bedroom, six bathroom. It's got 5,000 interior square feet with just under 7,200 total square feet, sitting on an 11,600 square foot lot and it's asking $7,100,000. Thank you to the listing agent, Ivan, with Miami One Real Estate for even allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, why don't you just follow me inside? All right, so walking up, you have two entrances to this property. You have one on that side, one on this side on Bayshore Drive. This is like your private access where you can click, call the person inside and walk in this way. And then over here we have driveway number one. When you walk in, look at the height of this house. It's honestly like a jungle tree house over here. You've got this immediate privacy right away. I got three cars in here. You can easily fit four or five. And now let's just cut right to it. Let's head up these steps. Admire the architecture on the way up, admire the landscaping and let me show you around your new home. So I just stepped inside and same feeling that you got outside with that whole indoor outdoor jungle kind of feel, it translates perfectly in here. So we'll start actually on my left over here. This is like your TV room kitchen. This is a place where if you're a family guy, family woman, this is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time. You just, I mean, look, use me as your example. I'm gonna sit right here. Ah, you got your family surrounding you, TV on the wall, favorite movie on. Behind me, you have this floor to ceiling view of outside your pool area, the landscaping. I can see upstairs, so it's really open. I mean, this is just a room that you don't see a lot of in other houses, and I'm glad I'm seeing it in here. Even the design of the furniture is really cool, and then, as you cross on over, here we have like an updated modern bar stools. So instead of having the actual bar stool, you have chairs up against like a bar stool lip, which if you've sat in one of these before and you've ever felt the lumbar support on a bar stool, you'll realize how important this is. This is great. This is finally like saving the space of a dining room, but having a dining room and then a little built in wall over here. You can put your art and we'll just sneak over into this kitchen. Just like Eric was saying when we walked in, this is like a little nook vibe almost. When you come into here, it's super cozy, but it's not claustrophobic. You have an insane finish on this countertop. You got your little pop-up outlets if you want to charge your phone, of course. Go back down. And then the finish continues up against all of the backsplash of the thing. You have your sink over here, dishwashers down below, facing the TV area. So if you're in here cooking or cleaning, you still got a view with your family. On my left, we have a Wolf induction stove top with a vent underneath, completely hidden. And then to transition from the Wolf brand, we have the Mila appliances. Now you have a Mila oven, Mila microwave, and then your fridge and freezer in here. Whoever stocked this fridge, I give you an A plus. You got Blue Moon, Coke, Fiji water, the best of the best. And then just next to the fridge, we have our wine cooler a must in any house for the champagne, for the wine, right over here. And from this room, let's actually head out. We're gonna pass this for one second, head back down by the front door. And here we have this like amazing design, this wood slat going all the way down. Every, I like the amount of wood in this house. It's, it just feels really natural and it takes you right into this office. So in this office, you have a great place to sit down, work, chair, a view of the park, which is a huge, huge plus in this house. We'll come out of here. Oh, and one thing I want to mention, by the way, it's like a pocket door. Look at this. So if you don't want people to see this room, you can kind of almost hide it like a wall. I'd love that. And then straight ahead, very easy for the guests to see. You have a half full bathroom. Let me correct myself. There are no half bathrooms in this house. They're all fulls. This is one of them. I love the wood slats that you have on the wall. It's a, something that you're going to see a lot throughout this house. Same with the finish in the sink. They kind of all take on the same style. And that's a good thing, because when you when it looks this good, you want to make sure that they do it multiple times, and you'll see that on my left in this guest bedroom. We won't spend too much time in the guest bedrooms because they're all unfurnished, but you have 
amazing features like this great view of your backyard and landscaping. And just like that bathroom, another ensuite with just finishes and another pocket door that just hides away, you know? Even access from the bathroom to outside. Just great things like that, you know? So we'll head over here. This house, you know, for the size, it's not like a huge mansion, but it's got some space into it. And I love the design in every corner, including this living room. Cause this is a living room that I could see my friends and my family having an amazing time in, you know? For instance, this bench, it's ergonomic. It's got great seats everywhere. I could, this is exactly where I'd sit to give great stories. You have this huge like concrete style wall going up to the top. I mean, it's just so rustic and fresh. It's very Miami. And even from this living room to my right, we have where you have an official formal dining room if you needed it. Obviously you have the bar stools over there, but you know, in the case that you don't want the bar stools, boom, you have an awesome dining room, very cozy, huge mirror on this wall with an interesting design to accentuate the room as well. And this light fixture is like something in a Star Trek. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I like circular tables because you don't sit next to the annoying cousin, everybody's next to each other, there's no wrong end to sit on. And the final feature in this living room that I'm gonna talk about, you have access into this balcony overlooking the front where you walked in. And the cool thing is, is it's super, super long. So you could put an entire outdoor living room out into here, facing the park, and it's high enough that you still have enough privacy during the day, at night, and it's just ridiculous amounts of space. I'm in love with this. I think it's a great feature to have just off the living room. It's a place that I would spend myself a lot of time. But let's just jump back in really quick, cross back over from the dining room. All right. So now that we've seen this like first level over here, I'm gonna take you upstairs to show you a few more surprises. And I'm not lying, there's some actual surprises up there. Right, so coming up the stairs, on my right, this is where your elevator leads up to. I, I just, look at that see-through glass that you have looking outside, so it's not just like a little little tiny box. Even the design on the walls, all this wood. I mean, this place is so elegant. Let's get back on track. On my left, we have the first upstairs guest bedroom. Follow me in here. Again, just like downstairs, you have these beautiful finishes. The wood slats on the wall, the finish in the shower, the sink, everything is immaculate. And you come into here and you have all this space. The organization for the closets. Everything is just laid out perfectly for you. Even a balcony over here with a gorgeous wood floor, like teak design almost. Boom, look at this. So you come out here and you're overlooking the park, your cars, your driveway. Your, we're so high up right now. I feel like I'm 50 stories in the sky, like a little condo almost. Just absolutely immaculate. Come back in. Because this is just a guest bedroom. Let me show you what this place really has to offer. Come down here with me. And then here we are in the congregation guest area, right? On my left, you can overlook the living room and the park. On my right, you can see your backyard, the tree. This, everything is just super open. There's glass everywhere and nothing's obstructing. And then down here on this side, we actually have another guest bedroom. We're gonna walk in here with me. Walk-in closet. You got your ensuite on my left with the same finishes, soak in tub, all that good stuff. And then on my right, just like the other guest bedroom, another like teak floor balcony overlooking your backyard, all these trees, all the landscaping. I feel like I'm in a little cozy jungle right now. You know, if you wanna live in a jungle, that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. Come out of here, we're gonna pass this super ergonomic chair. Ooh, ooh, wow, hell yeah, gorgeous. All right, we'll come out of here and then this is going to be, there's gonna be a huge surprise in this main bedroom. And because of that surprise, I'm gonna to have to put an ad right here. I'm sorry. All right, welcome back. Unless you have YouTube bread and there was no ad, come in with me. Boom. Here we are in your main suite. You have this gorgeous king bed, headboard behind it, super cushioned for those great Miami nights. Place the lounge and sit over there. Even a balcony on my right, facing the park again, because this is like your ocean view, basically. This park is an iconic place in Miami, and it's right over there, facing Bayshore. 
Let me take you to the real surprise. Come down over here with me towards the bathroom. As we walk down over here, you'll see there's access into another terrace on my left. So we walk in and look at this. This is your main bathroom. And on my right, you have an outdoor soak-in tub and shower just across from your walk-in closet. So let's look in the closet really quick. In the closet, you have this section for shoes, all this, you know, storage, typical stuff. And then down here on my left, even more. But now let's head back out so I can show you the shower. We'll save this when we're done with the inside. But look at this, you have a walk-in shower over here and it's just facing a wall of luscious landscaping and trees. I feel like I'm in the mighty jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. You know what I mean? Shower head above to simulate rain. This insane finish and then that same wooden slat on the wall by the mirrors, just like the rest of the house to make you feel like you're in a little bit of a jungle, you know? Someone give me something to climb. I don't know. Dual sinks, mirror on the wall to accentuate the room, and then your water closet. Hidden behind there, you got the automatic Toto toilet. It's already sanitizing. It knew I was in the room. It heard my voice. That's what you get when you're Miami. And then over here, this is the part where it just turns up to another level. You don't, you don't have this at your uncle's rich house. You know, you don't have an outdoor soak-in tub. Look at this. The same finish that we saw on all the balconies, a soak-in tub over here. Honestly, who's taking a shower inside because I have the shower right here on my right as well if you're a stand-up shower kind of person and you're just like rubbing your back on the leaves. You're just out in the, in, <laughs> you're just out in the jungle. This is so cool. And you know, what more do you ask for? If you're a nature guy, this is all you need. Places to sit and lounge out there to watch the show, of course, and we'll step back in. Now that I've showed you upstairs, I wanna take you back downstairs because we haven't even seen down by the pool area. Follow me in there. Okay, so down here on the ground, ground level, because technically that middle area is like floor one. Um, we have a, some cool features. On my left, the elevator is right here and it's actually facing the entrance on the side of the street that we didn't come up. And behind me, Arnold Schwarzenegger would love this. We have an outdoor, not yet completed yet, but like area where you can make it kind of a gym. You can put a treadmill, some weights. You got this like view of outside. I think this is dope. I, I've never seen this kind of like indoor outdoor feature for the gym. Light fixture above it, you wanna make it nice and bright in here. Or just make it a pool room for storage. Let your mind run wild. Who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just Jason the Tuke, best realtor in the world. Anyway, keep out of here. And this is like your underground car lair. I think this is dope because a lot of people are gonna be like, hey man, there's no garage for your cars. The cool thing is, you'll see over here next to this Bronco, this is the entrance that we didn't walk up on this side. So you can drive up, you have parking outside here, parking for your cars over here. And you can put motorcycles, anything. You even have like a kind of like a garage aspect over here for storage. But the, the real feature out here, and just to keep in mind, this house is under construction still. It's not yet completed. So you'll see some workers, you'll see some things that are not done. But this is the kind of the, the idea is you come out here and check it out. We got your pool. Looking back up at the property, it's actually unbelievable. The landscaping, the architecture here. I love just being surrounded by trees and everything. And you know, it just really doesn't get much better than this. So Eric, if you want to stand here, I'll go to the other end of the pool so they can see the whole scene. Just kind of give you like a, a going away message. So. On that note, I just want to say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If you like this property, if you want to see more properties like it, comment down below, let me know. Like I said, we're going to keep doing this. We're not going to stop. And don't forget to subscribe. And I love you. I care about you. Care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. That's a fact. And I want you to have a good day. Turn off YouTube. You've seen the last video of the day.